All right, let's get to work. Let's get to work on looking at seeing how, what shortcuts rip people off when they go to hire a real estate agent. What are the shortcuts to watch out for? What are the things at play when they're hiring an agent? Okay, well, mostly what's at play when you go to look to see to hire an agent, the two shortcuts most to watch out for are representativeness and availability. Both of those shortcuts are gonna lead you down a path of operating in a way that's irrational, that's emotional, that's your gut, versus the statistical likelihood of the person you're hiring being able to perform. Now remember, you're the CEO, so it's your job to produce, the, to hire the best person, the person that's most likely to produce the results you're looking for. So you gotta first of all get clear what are the results you're looking for, which a lot of people don't bother to articulate, but let's do it. You're, if you're selling a house, it's almost always you wanna sell the house for the most money in the least time with the least hassle, which includes the least liability to you. Nothing blows back on you after the sale. And if you're buying a house, you wanna buy the right house for the best price in the least time with the least hassle. Okay, so those are the things that you want. So you gotta find someone who has a track record of the best house, best price, who sells for the most money. Not who sells the most homes, who sells for the most money. Most people go, oh, that guy, see that guy. Now look, watch what happens. This is how it works. This is why you, you, this is the way availability looks. Oh, I see that guy signs all over the place. He must be good. That's availability. It's easy to your mind. And in fact, agents know this. All they, they know that 72% of the people are gonna hire the first person they talk to, so their job isn't to be good, their job is to be fast. If they're there first, and first sometimes means their ads all over the internet, or their ads all over the bus stops, or their ads all over the newspaper where you live, or wherever, but as long as they take up your mind share with their signs in people's yards, and their emails, and their calls, and their phone, their, um, internet app, as long as they're around, you will think of them first. And that's all it takes for 72% of the people. Those are good odds if you're a business person, by the way. Those are great odds if you're a business person. If you're in business, you would take 72% of the business every day. And that's what people do when they're out looking for an agent. So availability takes on an enormous, enormous role. You see their signs, their friends recommend them to you. You, you see their stars on the website. All of that stuff is availability and then representativeness because you know that's, oh, they have a lot of stars on the website. That's what a good realtor would have. No, that's just what they have on their website. You don't know if they're a good realtor based on that. Why? Because the bar for everyone is so freaking low that that just means they didn't rip off anyone. All right, that's fine. If the bar for you is don't get ripped off, you don't need to watch any of these videos. Okay, you could hire a kid's soccer coach. Your kid's soccer coach is unlikely to rip you off. But do you have no idea the level at which they're gonna perform? That's availability and representativeness at play. Oh, I can think of them, therefore I'm, oh, that's a nice guy at the open house. They were available. That's availability and representatives at play, representativeness at play. No, you wanna actually get to what's the statistical likelihood of their performing? What's their track record? Have they sold houses like this before? And for how much over asking? And how much is normal in this area at this time? Some areas, houses sell for 98% of asking price. Some areas, houses sell for 170, 107% of asking price. Some more, some less. You gotta get your agent's track record and compare it to the norm. But you won't get it unless you ask for it because they have never been asked for it before because mostly people just don't wanna get ripped off. So they just hire their friend or they hire this guy or they hire that guy and they just pray. Oh, they got a lot of stars. Okay, great. No, your job is to not be used by those and actually get the data. Ask them, show me your last 12 months of sales and then compare their last 12 months of sales to three other agents' last 12 months of sales. Now you've got a comparison. Now you've got something. Then you can go over the person you like as long as you know how they compare to everyone else. You wanna hire a kid's soccer coach because it would be awkward if you didn't? Okay, but at least know how much that awkwardness is costing you. You know, if you can find someone that can do it way better, you might get, be a little bit awkward for a while. It's just a way better opportunity. So point is, 
the way availability and representativeness work is you see their signs, you see their stars, you talk to people, they're available to you, they look to you like what a realtor looks like. None of those things actually demonstrate their statistical likelihood of performing better for you. That's how availability and representativeness play out inside picking an agent, and that's why it matters to you. Okay.